So I drove past this church today and I saw the rooftop, the one that you see in the thumbnail. And I said, Lord, that rooftop ain't looking too good. You know, we've been talking about this rooftop now. <laughs> this was going to happen to their rooftop if they don't listen. And I'm speaking from experience because that's what happened to my rooftop. See, we serve a just God and your enemies will be right in your own household. And I became my mother's enemy. So I was slowly falling deeper and deeper into sin. And my mother was trying to get me back on the right path. And then I met somebody and I felt the butterflies, the sparks, the fireworks, you know. I was in that honeymoon stage. And when you're following the devil, the honeymoon stage doesn't last very long, okay? There is pleasure in sin for a season. And when that season is up... You're chasing that honeymoon stage like a drug, okay? Anything that you put in front of God and make your idol, you're going to chase that feeling that you get the first time that you meet that idol. You're, you're going to chase that feeling like a drug, okay? This is what the devil does to keep you there. So, yeah, I meet this person and my mother is, you know trying to give me advice she is trying to tell me you need to stop chasing this person you know they're not for you they don't care about you but I couldn't you know I couldn't see it because I was going off my emotions and not logic okay so they became my new god now this is the new false idol in my life right I put him before God and I pushed my mother away okay I abandoned her okay I did not cherish her and value her the way a daughter should her mother okay I became her enemy right so you know God was like okay listen I warned her long enough and now you need to stop okay she has free will. If that's what she wants to run off to, then let her do that. She has free will. Let her do whatever she wants to do, right? So my mom was like, okay, you know what? Okay, God. Okay. So I ran over there. And then I received my just reward because what goes around comes around. And they treated me just like I treated my mother. But see, when it comes back around, you get it 10 times worse. And, you know, I was left so empty and broken that I started doing drugs. Now, this became my new, my new idol. Now, I'm doing this drug and I I'm feeling the butterflies, the spark the fireworks okay i'm in that honeymoon stage with this drug with this new idol i didn't care about anything i said okay this is gonna fix my problem because i don't care about nothing <laughs> ain't nothing can't nothing bother me on this i got all the peace in the world right now <laughs> oh i was gonna call them out but then i got high I was going to drag them across the lot, but then I got high. <laughs> I didn't care how they treated me <laughs> because I got high. <laughs> because I got high. <laughs> didn't care about nothing. <laughs> okay. So that quickly faded away. Okay. Because like I said, that honeymoon stage don't last. Okay. And you're just going to chase, chase, chase that first feeling. After the pleasure and sin season is up. Yeah. So then everything <laughs> was taken from me, okay? <laughs> See, I had built my temple, my church, okay, my house off the less the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life, okay? That pride, mm, that pride is tough. So 
I was standing up on that rooftop and I said, yeah, I built this. I built my life with my might and my power. And God said, oh, you think you mighty? You think you powerful? Okay, I'm about to show you who's mighty and powerful. And he caved that rooftop in. And I fell to the bottom. I was at the bottom looking up, y'all. <laughs> but then I realized that my world was fake. It was all a lie. And I realized what I had did to the Lord, that I was worshiping false idols, right? So I repented. I, I was truly sorry for disobeying the Lord, okay? And I showed him that I was sorry with my actions. And then he filled me with his wisdom, insight, knowledge, and understanding. Okay, he transformed my heart and renewed my mind. And then I realized what I had did to my mother. So I was able to apologize to her. It was a genuine apology. And then I showed her with my actions that I was sorry. And then God mended that relationship. And now it's better than it was before. Okay. He wiped the slate clean. Just like he wiped uh, my slate clean, you know. And then he helped me rebuild my church, my temple again, and place me, he placed me on the rooftop, okay? Because that's how it's supposed to be. He's the one to put you on a rooftop, right? Remember who's we talking about this? Okay, well, now I come to the Lord and I'm like, okay, so this person, you know, they, they've hurt me, they put me through a lot. But, you know, I'm wipe you wipe my slate clean. We we about to start all over. OK, it don't matter. So some stuff happened. I said, that's OK. That's OK. They don't know yet. They don't know. I got to tell them that I just met Jesus, the real Jesus, because we made up our own Jesus. <laughs> OK, so, you know, some more stuff went down and I I didn't even care. If we were friends or not, you know, all I wanted was for this person to come to Jesus. See, I still continued to chase them, but this time it wasn't for me. This time it was for Jesus, for them to find Jesus. OK, it's all about Jesus now. OK, so now I'm chasing with uh you know, from a pure place. Like, I, I just want you to know Jesus. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so come up on my rooftop. Let me introduce you to them. And then they will rebuild your temple. I mean, God will rebuild your temple and place you on the rooftop. Okay? But, uh, see, that mask <laughs> came all the way off. Okay? <laughs> they said, you thought I was cruel before? Oh, oh. You have no idea what's underneath here, but you about to see it, okay? And they really put me through it, and I'm like, what is going to do? I don't even know who this person is. <laughs> and then God reminded me, remember <laughs> what you did to your mother? <laughs> she was probably thinking the same thing. She was just trying to lead you to Jesus, and you kept pushing her away. And then your mask came off. And she was thinking to herself, who is this person? Okay. See, because them demons, them unclean spirits, they don't like, they don't like the spirit of the Lord. Okay. When somebody has the spirit of the Lord, oh yeah, that mask is coming off. Okay. My mask came off with her because the demons that were inside of me, they didn't like the spirit in her. Okay. We, we going to bump heads. Okay, and then that's what happened with this person because what goes around comes around. Okay, and yeah, so then that happened, and you know, some more stuff happened, but God, you know, God had us stay, He had us stay after these people hurt us. Okay. And that was to give them a chance to come to Jesus, okay? 
And, you know, they going they gonna to get it too, okay? They're going to reap what they sowed with you. Just like I got what I deserved from, uh, from doing my mother the way I did. What did I just say? <laughs> I reaped what I sowed with my mom. Okay. And she was probably getting it from whoever she betrayed. <laughs> whoever she did dirty. Okay. Probably her parents because, you know, she went through that stage in her life too. It just keeps going. Okay. You reap what you sow. So, you know, I was reaping what I sowed from what I did to my mom with this person. And now this person, they going to get it too. Okay. And the people around them, they're going to get it too. You you reap what you sow. And, you know, the people that hurt you the way that they did, they are, they don't, don't think that we don't serve a just God. They are going to reap what they sowed. Okay. But God had us lingering around trying to warn them you know giving them a chance that was god giving them a chance to repent of their sins okay we were the lightning before the thunder okay thunder then the lightning wait no how does it go thunder feel the thunder lightning and the thunder thunder lightning <laughs> see we we're lightning Okay, before the thunder. We are just the voice shouting in the wilderness. Flash, flash, come to Jesus. Flash, flash, walk with Jesus. Flash, flash, the thunder is coming. The thunder is coming. And the thunder is God. Okay, his wrath. So... They didn't want to listen. And now guess what's going to happen? What goes around comes around. And because they built their temple with their own hands and placed themselves up on that rooftop. Their rooftop is about to cave in and they're going to be at the bottom looking up. And hopefully, you know, it shouldn't have to take all of that but for some of it, it does like myself. Some of us are hard headed. <laughs> okay. Once you sin so much, you know, God gives you over to that delusional or reprobate mind. Okay. But hopefully, you know, when that, uh, that roof caves in, they realize what they've done. Okay, when that storm come, now they have no shelter. <laughs> you know, they're going to be getting wet. There's going to be a leak in, there's a leak in this soul building. And my soul has got to move. My soul has got to move. <laughs> okay, hopefully they realize that. Like, I got to move out of this house because I'm the one that built it. Okay, I got to move into a new house that the Lord has made. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully they get it. But that's what's about to happen if they don't listen. We was just the lightning flash, flash, trying to warn them about the thunder that's coming. Okay, that thunder is coming. That thunderstorm is coming. But guess what, baby? Your rooftop, your rooftop is intact. Okay, so you can go down and <laughs> into the house and you're covered because your shelter is the Lord's. But see, listen, they got a big old hole in the rooftop and they're going to get wet. You know, stuff going to be flying up in there, smacking them in the face if they don't come to the Lord. See, you reap what you sow. And, you know, even though it doesn't feel good for, you know, us going through the persecution and the suffering you know we we god is teaching us things he's showing us what we've done to other people and i don't know about you but i have heard other people my mom was like the main person that i think of you know because some people they act like you know they're enemies 
you know, like they're the, like they've never harmed anybody in their life. Like, <laughs> is you the Messiah? <laughs> like, you try to tell me you've never wronged anybody in your life. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, he teaches us a lot of things when, you know, we're being consecrated and everybody has turned against us. You know, our family members, our friends, you know, everybody is just attacking us. You know, we're learning a lot and he's strengthening us, strengthening us and is to, you know, help other people that are going through the same thing or are about to go through you know, what you've gone through and teaching us what we, you know, he opens our eyes to what we did to other people unintentionally, you know, because I didn't, I didn't mean to hurt my mother, but that doesn't mean that I didn't, you know, she went through a lot and she never gave up on me. So, I thank the Lord for that because I don't even know how I am still alive, y'all. So, you know, pray for these people that they get it, you know, hopefully, you know, some people have to go through through that. Some people have to have their rooftop caved in <laughs> for them to realize that, you know, that they're wrong. But their pride gets in the way and they don't want to admit that they were wrong. You know, they can't be wrong. They have to be right about everything because that pride. Okay, listen, Leviathan, you read about Leviathan, how tough his skills are. Okay, pride. So, you know, pray for them. But yeah, that's that's what's happening. That rooftop is about to cave in. So get it together, y'all. Not my brothers and sisters. <laughs> Anybody that's listening that ain't, you know quite following the lord get get it together because god is not playing and this is not to shame you it is to help you it is to help you okay he will wipe the slate clean he loves you listen he'll forget about it all he'll forget about it all and he'll build you a new house he will restore your life and he will raise you up from the ashes you will be a brand new person with a brand new mind a brand new heart a brand new everything life you know, eternal life, a life of abundance, blessings on top of blessings, on top of blessings, joy, peace. Everything that you've been looking for externally will be within you. OK. Because you will have the spirit of the Lord in you. So this is not to shame you. I can't throw the first stone. I've been there. I'm just sharing what I learned and I know. That uh, these preachers out here, they're not preaching the real Jesus. So find out who the real Jesus is, okay? Love y'all. I hope this blessed you. And y'all have a good night.